Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have x multiplied by x multiplied by x multiplied by x and it is divided by x plus x plus x plus x is equals to 54 and we solve this problem for the values of x. So here you see that uh, this x is multiplied by 4 times so you know that if any number is multiplied by 4 times we write its exponent is 4 okay so here x is multiplied by 4 times we write it as x to the power of 4 and it is divided by here you see that x is added by 4 times so uh, the rule of addition is that uh, when any number is added by 4 times so it is equals to 4 times of that number okay so here x is added by 4 times we write it as 4 times of x and this is equals to 54 and now you see here this x is cancelled out by this x and we get here the remaining values are x cubed divided by 4 and it is equals to 54 and now here in the next step we move this 4 to the right hand side and it will be written as x cubed is equals to 54 times of 4 and it will be written as x cubed is equals to this is 4 times of 4 becomes 36 we write 6 and carry 3 4 5 is a 20 20 plus uh, uh, 4 4 is a 16 we write 6 and carry 1 4 5 is a 20 20 plus 1 becomes 21 so we get here 216 so we know that uh, 216 is the cube of 6 so we write this number as 6 cubed and now we move 6 cubed in the left hand side it will becomes x cubed minus 6 cubed equals to 0 and now here we apply the cubic formula uh, you know that if we have a cubed minus b cubed equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so we can just put the values of a and b into the Low formula so according to this formula we write our above equation as in this form first we have a minus b the value of a is x minus value of b is 6 into a square so here our a is x square plus a b a is x and b is 6 plus b square so b is 6 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now further in the next step we need to add or subtract the like terms we have x minus 6 times of uh, x square plus this is 6x plus 6 square equals to 36 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step we break this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 6 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus 6x plus 36 equals to 0 and now from first case we easily get the value of x is equals to 6 uh, so this is the our first real root of the given equation and now in order to find the other roots we need to solve uh, the second quadratic equation so this is quadratic in x variable and we will apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so uh, for quadratic formula we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 6 and c is equals to 36 and we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and now we put the values of a b and c here and after substituting the values it will be written as x is equals to minus b the value of b is minus 6 plus minus square root of b square so b is 6 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and 
c is 36 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as minus 6 plus minus square root of this is 6 square equals to 36 minus this is 4 times of 36 divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2 and now you see here inside the square root sign we have 36 be the common term so after taking common 36 we get the remaining values are from here we get 1 minus from here we get 4 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step uh, we need to apply this square root sign separately on both of these values it will be written as square root of 36 into 1 minus 4 equals to square root of minus 3 and it is divided by 2 so uh, after that step we have x is equals to minus 6 plus minus here we know that square root of 36 equals to 6 and here we know that a negative sign appears inside the square root it will become iota and we get square root of 3 times of iota and it is divided by 2. So here we break this fraction and we can uh, apply this 2 separately on both of these values and it will be written as minus 6 over 2 plus minus 6 times of square root of 3 into iota divided by 2. So here you see that this is 2 times of 3 becomes 6. We get x is equals to minus 3 plus minus. This is 2 times of 3 becomes 6. We get 3 times of square root of 3 into iota these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and we have x is equals to 6 be the one real root of the given equation so these are the three roots of the given equation and this is the our final answer and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.